In the last one month, Snipey T has released about four, five, five to six releases. You can see that, and uh, um, most of them are stable releases. One of them is a uh, pre-release. So that's a lot to upgrade. However, Snipey T will provide you um, a small a command, and which is an easy command to use, and then you can use this command. So after that, you can upgrade your Snipey T. Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technic Solutions, and today we are going to look at how to upgrade Snipey T. So I have tried that method, and if you look at the documentation, they will give you this small command, which is php upgrade.php. I have tried this, and um, it did not really work well for me. It gave me permission errors, and I actually noted down all the permission errors here. As you can see that in the issues window here, a lot of the issues are under Snipey T folder. And there are a few issues with uh, home snipeit.composer directory and we will have a look at that as well. So well, let's get started and I am going to connect to my snipeit through PuTTY which is my SSH client and I will open that again. I will type uh, the IP address for my snipeit which is 10.0.0.11 and I will open and it will get connected to snipeit. I will put the user so user is snipeit in my case and I will enter the password for it. All right, so we are logged in, let's just clear it. So let's go to that directory first. Um, it is cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash snipeit. Okay, so this is the root directory of snipeit. All right, so let's check what the, the git version installed. To do that, um, type git space dash dash version. So you can see that it is 2.17.1. So what you can do that you can try php upgrades.php. All right, so once you do that and uh, you will see some errors. Okay now, so even here it says this is failed, permission denied and there are a lot of errors. Uh, all the errors are like this. I have actually copied over all the errors and I have put them here. All right, so let's just clear this window first and I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Okay, so first of all, we will fix SnipeIT folder permissions, folder and subfolder permissions. It is up to you, you can go uh, one by one and uh, you can fix the file permissions. So what you have to do is you have to provide SnipeIT user to actually um, get the permission to write on these uh, directories, on these folders. So what I will do is I will actually use this command here, which is um, sudo chmod, and then it will provide the right permissions and uh, it will provide the right permissions on SnipeIT folder to the user SnipeIT, okay? So I will run this command, I will provide the password for my SnipeIT user and that's about it. So let's just clear this as well. So now the next part is we have to provide write permissions on .composer, okay? So to do that, actually you can use one of those commands in my other system, actually, I tried the first command, which was sudo chown r snipe dollar snipe it dollar snipe it means dollar your username. Okay, so snipe it is my username in this case, and then dollar home forward slash dot composer. This works fine on my other system where I was actually testing it before. However, I have tried on this system; um, it has given me an error. Let's just we can try it again. Let's see what happens. I'll copy that and I'll put it here. So sudo chown and then that. As you can see that it says chown missing operand after this, 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 and it didn't work, okay? So the workaround for this would be uh, that. We will use sudo chown dash r and then snipe it. Actually, there's a problem here. I will fix it right now. So snipe it and then there's a space sudo chown dash r snipe it that's your username and then there's a space forward slash home forward slash your username that's your, your snipe it username forward slash dot composer so you can run this command and it this command actually works fine all right so i have provided all these commands for you in the description of this video now we are going to try upgrade again so which is php upgrade dot php let's see how it goes now Okay, again, so it says application is live now. So what we can do is we can test it if that upgrade worked or not. 
I'm pretty sure there's one more thing we have to do but I have just tried without doing that one simple command and uh, let's just test it. Okay so I logged in and uh, if you scroll down at the bottom you can see in the footer that version is 4.6.8 that's the actual version I have and if I click on settings on the top right hand corner and then system information it will show you it is 4.6.8 which means it has not upgraded yet. So if we go back to our SSH client I'll show you there's something which we have to fix. Okay so it is something in the git which is a step number let's have a look what number is this this is number three which is something is not going right in step number three so if, to fix that we will use a small command and it's a reset of git so which is here um, git reset dash dash hard and I will copy that and I will put that there and let's see what happens next all right so git reset dash dash hard so here you can see that and it worked uh, head is now at this ci fix indentation and hash 6669 all right so now let's do let's clear this first and now we run php upgrade.php again and we'll see what happens next Upgrading is finished now and let's go back and let's have a look at that step where it was showing different information before and now it will show us um, slightly different information. So you can see that uh, in the step 3 pulling latest from git git is installed and you can see that it has a different information and actually upgrading a process has been finished now. So if I minimize this and I'll minimize this as well so this is private window I will close this and I will open another private window. Um, the reason why I'm using private window is um, there won't be any problem with the cache or there won't be problem with anything else. And if I go to the settings and you can see that Snap IT version is upgraded to 4.6.13 and this is the latest version from Snap IT as well. You can see that latest version is 4.6.13. Okay. And we had some assets. Let's have a look. Not some. We have only one asset. And we can see that if it is there or not if i go to dashboard you can see that my asset is there i have added a user as well and it will be under people i have my user as well so there is nothing i have lost but always it is a good practice to make a backup before you do that type of stuff all right so that's all for this video please give a thumbs up if you feel like this video is informative for you so um, leave your questions or leave your feedback in the comments Subscribe to my channel as well to show some support. I will see you in the next video.